Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with Marks Endeavors. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Um, we've got our ABCs today. And what we are on is the lovely E. So, what we're going to do, I'm just going to move that out of the way. Alright, so we're going to talk about, today we're going to talk about our E words. So, let's start with the bad ones. Not bad ones, just not so great ones. I'm going to use this um, piece of dictionary paper I have here just to cover this tag. So let's do that first. All right, so E words. <laughs> the very first one that comes to my head because um, it happens quite often is excruciating. Uh oh, I think mine needs to do something with my brush. Um, that's really weird. It's got like a black... I think that brush has got to go in some Murphy's oil soap. Anyways, um, excruciating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anybody that endures in chronic pain, yep. They're like, yep, 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 I get it, I get it. I'm going to just put this on there. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of times that um, our pain, and I say our because I'm talking to the chronic pain um, people, peeps out there, that our pain is just beyond ouch and it's it's just excruciating and when you have those days it's so difficult so yeah there's excruciating right that's one of our e words another one um, that we happen to deal with quite a bit is <laughs> no energy what happens to our energy it just disappears um, you know, even some days when I have what I call my, my good days, I'm still exhausted. Oh, there's another word, exhausted. Um, I'm just tired. I want to do nothing but take a nap. And, um, yeah, just not do anything. And you know what? I'm going to put this on the other side just because I have it laying here on my desk. And I might as well do it and get them both drying. So yeah, excruciating, which equals no energy, which equals, um, you know, exhaustion. Uh, when you don't sleep a lot of nights in a row, it really gets to you and wears you out. And you just, you wake up and you face another day, right? That's what we have to do. So we just wake up, we, I don't know, pull up our bootstraps and... <laughs> and do our day. I don't know how else to explain it because that's just what happens, right? So what do we do on those days of exhaustion and um, excruciating pain? You guys know the first thing you do if you're in that much pain, you need to do some pain prevention, which um, could be anything from, you know, um, burying your head in a pillow and just letting, you know, riding the waves to getting out your ice machine, getting out your TENS unit, changing your position, um, trying, and I'm going to emphasize trying, to do some art so that you can take your mind off it. A lot of times when it's that bad, you can't. Um, talk. Talk to your family. Talk to your support system. Let them know how you're feeling. Okay, maybe they can do something that would help you. Maybe they could um, give you a back rub or, I don't know, make you a hot cup of tea or just something to help you try to take your mind off what you're going through at that time. There we go. Those are kind of cool, right? Instant backgrounds. Love it. Love it when a plan comes together. All right, where's my big... Here it is, Sharpie. So, um, yeah exhaustion um when i'm in excruciating pain um i basically i start really um taking the ibuprofen at this point um the painkillers if it gets to the point where i just can't take it anymore um my ice machine uh i move constantly whether oops whether it's sit stand or lay um you know, I try to use all of the tools I have available to me to make it through that day. And that's another thing. When you're um, in the throes of an excruciating pain, one of the things that I do is I tell myself over and over, it's okay, tomorrow's got to be better. 
It's okay. I can get through today. This is just today. Tomorrow's got to be better. And, you know, that seems to help me mentally, um, I don't want to say prepare, but accept the fact that, yep, today's a rough one. But you know what? That's okay because tomorrow's going to be better. So that's one of the things I do. I'm not sure if this matte medium is sticking on these corners. So what I'm going to do, let me put you in a jar. That's not, I don't like that. So let's do this. Let's glue that puppy down. So, you know, sometimes you have to do that um, mental preparedness and make yourself understand that, you know, it's okay. I've been here before. Um, this is not the only time I've dealt with this type of pain. And, you know, it may even be something that you did. What did you do yesterday to cause you to be in that extreme amount of pain tonight or today? Um, what what uh, should you not have done yesterday? Put it that way, right? So, I mean, there's, there's different ways to look at this and to try to figure out what's causing the pain, um, what you can do, not to remedy it so much as to just... Um, make it more bearable what can you do um, maybe uh, your excruciating pain is from being inactive maybe you need to take a walk um, maybe you need to um, maybe you need to just get away from things maybe it's stress that's causing all that pain is that possible um, these are just some borders that I had that I made on Gina's design team. There's a sticker that doesn't belong in there. Um, quite a while ago, and I just I pulled them out. And I thought you know it'd be really cool to use them. So yeah. So what what did you do that caused that problem, or what can you do to alert, um, to take that pain level to a different um, take it down, take it down a few notches. There's got to be something you can do, right? So, that's for the excruciating pain. Exhaustion, one, talk to your doctor. Um, let them know, listen, you know, I go to bed at night, I sleep the best I can for eight hours, and I wake up just completely exhausted. I can't do this anymore. Talk to your doctor, let them know. Maybe you're spending more time than you should in the art room. Maybe you need to um, to get a better night's rest. Maybe you're doing too much. You know, uh, my parents are coming this weekend. I've got to get the house clean. I got to do this. I got to do that. Maybe that you're just you're just plain overdoing it. Um, if that's the case, slow down. You need to slow down and give your body time to um, come back from it. You guys know as well as I do, when you live with chronic pain, your body doesn't respond like it used to. Your body, just the, the simplest thing, and I'll give you an example for myself, driving. When I drive, um, even if it's just, I've got a, let's say I go to a Walmart here, it's about 16 miles away. I drive that, I can feel it automatically in my hands, I can feel it in my shoulders, I, it, it even though it's a, a normal activity that, you know, my previous life, as I call it, um, I was on the road more than I was home. I was driving all the time. And now my body doesn't like it. It doesn't like sitting in this position. It does not like my hands clenched like this. They, they, the next day they hurt really, really bad. Okay, so even if it's something simple like that that you think should be, well, you know, I used to do that all the time. You can't do it anymore if your chronic pain does not respond well to it. So, you know, maybe instead of you driving every time you go to the store, get your spouse or one of your kids, if they're learning how to drive, you know, put up with it. Let them drive for you. So, you know, there's all, all kinds of things that you really have to think about when you're in that much pain to be able to understand that, you know, my body's not doing this well. I need to do something different. So, um, exhaustion, take a look. Take another look at what you're doing and see if there is something that will help you to combat that exhaustion. 
Uh, maybe it's something as simple as using essential oils, diffusing essential oils at night. Maybe it's, you know, if you need to talk to your to your doctor, your primary care about, um, maybe you need a, a, a sleep aid. Uh, maybe you need um, to take a warm bath before you go to bed at night. Something to relax your body and relax your mind. I mean, we have so many doctors out there that just want to hand drugs out. What about trying something different? It's not going to hurt, is it? Um, you know, try a bag of Epsom salts and try to take a nice warm bath and relax yourself before you go to bed at night. Maybe, just maybe, you'll sleep a little better. You might still be awake, you know, during the night with the pain and having to move, but you never know. Maybe during that time when you are sleeping, your body is actually getting the rest it needs. So... The whole point to my rambling here is, um, you know, look at things a little bit differently. Try to um, think of different ways that you would advise a friend. If your friend came to you and said, I am exhausted all the time, what would you tell them? The same exact things I'm telling you. Try. Try different things to help get you out of that that place out of that restlessness out of that um the predicament you're in i love this flower but it's too big let's do this i'm gonna cut my flower down i want to put this flower on here gosh darn it and i'm gonna there we go i like it better just not sure where i want it now because I want to write on here, I want to journal on this. Let me. Uh, I want to heat this. Hit this with my heat gun because my heat gun is or my. This is still wet. But before I do that, let's see what else we're gonna put on here. For some reason, I'm I'm liking these numbers. So let's put some more numbers on here. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So we talked about the pain, excruciating. We talked about exhaustion. Um, you know, which equals no energy. We talked a little bit about that. What about, <laughs> this one is a big one. Um, no self-esteem. Hmm, big one, huh? I know that when I got hurt and um, tried to do things that I normally would do, and now I, I physically cannot do them. Boy, that messes with your head. That really, really, really messes with your head. You feel broken. Uh, one of the girls put on here, you know, another word for B is broken. You do. You feel broken. Broken. You feel... You feel like your whole value your whole worth of being a human um, has diminished. I'm, I'm just trying to think how I want to put this. It's all part of the, the, the chronic pain process of accepting. It's all part of the acceptance. Okay, that's my take on it. Um, some other people may say, oh, no, no, you know, that's not how, okay, this is my opinion, guys. This is how I feel. This is how I've learned to deal with um, the chronic pain. So when that self-esteem just goes downhill, if you actually look back on my channel, um, I have a series called I Am, and that series I actually did when I was trying to figure out who I was and what my worth was and to build that self-esteem back up that, hey, you know, just because I'm in chronic pain, just because I have a lot of physical issues doesn't mean that I'm not worthy. It doesn't mean that I'm not a good human being. It doesn't mean that, you know, life is over and I should give up. That's not what it means. So... 
it takes a lot of soul searching. Um, when I do the soul searching, I do it journaling. Um, I do both art journaling as well as writing journaling. But it takes a lot of that soul searching to figure out exactly who you are again and to build that self-worth and to build that self-esteem. And it's not easy. So don't get frustrated. Don't give up. You can do this. All right, excruciating. Um, we talked about energy or exhaustion and self-esteem. I like that. It's different. It's not quite my style, but I like it. Anyways, um, I'm not gonna. I might do some doodling on it, but before I do that. I want to flip it over. I gotta warm this up. Not warm it up. Heat it up. Dry it up. I'll be right back. All right. So I dried this up quite a bit. I just want to play around here with a little bit with the flowers. Throw some dark and some light in here. Yeah. So you know, if you if you check out my channel and you see the I Am video series, um, like I said, that was when I was actually I was just beginning my mixed media journey and I was looking for anything to help me understand um, who I was or who I am not was who I am as a person because think about it right now if you talk to somebody you're like hey how are you oh, I'm good what do you do okay it's not you know who are you or it's all about the job. And what do you do? Oh, I'm a so-and-so and so-and-so. It's not about, oh, you know, I'm Cindy. I, you know, I'm a, I stay at home and, you know, I'm a chronic pain survivor. However you want to put it, you know. Um, the thing is, it doesn't... It's very hard in today's society to sit there and say, oh, yeah, you know, I'm an artist or I'm a this or I'm a that. It's all about what you do and what your job is. Um, you know, to sit there and say, oh, I'm a chronic pain survivor. They just, you know, people are like dumbfounded. They don't know what to say to you because that's not normal, right? Okay. Um, I love that. Love that. I'm just going to keep it as is. Just dry this up real quick. I'm even going to leave my four there. I just, I was looking at it earlier, I'm like, ah, but I like it. It's going to stay there. So let's talk about the back side. And th actually, this is the good side of the back side. Let's see. Um, I just, uh, what I'm looking at here is I brought a bunch of just stuff out of one of my drawers. Um, and I thought, okay, let's let's see what, it, what we can come up with. So, um, she looks kind of cool. This is out of a magazine. Um, I just liked uh, probably a Somerset Studio or an art journaling magazine. Um, let's see, this is off a of calendar. Let's go on here. That'll look kind of cute, right? All right, let's go ahead and fussy cut this. Fussy cut. I'm not going to be anything crazy with it. I'm not going right up to lines. I just want to get some of this other color off here to let our color in the background show through. Oh, she even has on like a party hat. That's all right. That's good. We'll leave her party hat on her. So, um, what do we do about all this? Our self-esteem issue and all these other issues. What do we do? I'm trying to say if that's her hair. Um, you know, there's only really one E word that I could think of. We embrace it. Yeah. That's what we have to do. We have to embrace the fact that our life has changed. That's okay. We got to embrace it, you know. Um, change is good in some ways. You always have to find, you know, that blessing in disguise, per se. So we're going to embrace it, and we're just going to continue to build our self-esteem. We're going to continue to learn. We're going to continue. Isn't that cute? I like her there. We're just going to, we're going to continue to um, live. And we're just going to live under a new set of, uh, I don't want to call them rules, 
but a new set of rules. You know, we're going to learn to live um, in this pain. We're going to learn to live and and be accepting ourselves and loving ourselves, and we're going to embrace all of that because we don't have any other choice. This stuff chose us. We didn't choose it. So what are we going to do? We're just going to embrace it. We're going to love ourselves. We're going to, you know, continue to make a, a change in other people's lives if possible. Um, we're going to, you know, show love and kindness to the world because that's what we need to do. I don't like that little part of her hair there. See that? This little thing here. I don't like that. So we're going to cut that off. I don't like that. She's gone. All right. And we'll just give her curly hair here. That works. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to embrace it. Right? Because that's what we have to do. We don't have a choice. So, let's embrace our pain. Let's embrace um, our, you know, our new life. Yeah, so we can't do as much as we want to or as much as we used to. That's okay. You know what that does? That gives us time to actually slow down, smell the roses, as they say, and just enjoy the life that we do have. Doesn't it? That's what I think. It just gives us that opportunity to do just that. So um, I am just going to... Did that just come out? Nope. Oh. I am going to just put a little, um, probably use my label maker and put a label on here that says embrace because that's what we need to do. We embrace, need to embrace the new you. Me and my little squiggles and ups and downs and whatevers, gotta have them. My lumpy lumps and doopy doops and all right. Let me grab my label maker real quick. It happens to be sitting right here, and we're going to embrace. That's cute. Now I got to get some string for it. Let's see what I got in the string. Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, look at this. This looks perfect. Whoops. <laughs> I had the ball, but not the rest of it. All right, so first we're going to clear and off that. Then we're going to put this on. You know, like I've said, guys, if you have any questions, um, please let me know. I will try my best to answer them. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a licensed therapist. None of that. This is all my opinion and how I look at my chronic pain journey. That's what this is about. And if I can help you in any way to feel better about your journey, to maybe understand a little bit more that's happening to you, that's my goal. I just want to be able to help someone else maybe just understand even if it's not you maybe it's your spouse or a best friend or a parent or sister brother cousin niece nephew it doesn't matter um, maybe they're going through this chronic pain journey and you don't understand why they have you know you make all these great plans and all of a sudden they call and cancel you know and maybe you don't get it maybe you don't understand it so if I can help you to understand it even just a little bit, that's what I want to do. So, you know, be gentle to whomever the person is that is living in that chronic pain journey that you know or you are. Um, if it's you, treat yourself like you would treat your friend because it, it doesn't do us any good to beat ourselves up about it, okay? Um, it's just going to make matters worse, whether it be pain or um, low self-esteem or anger or guilt or all of those feelings. Don't beat yourself up over this. 
Okay, I know sometimes it's hard. Trust me, I have days when I still feel like I just, it's me against the world and I'm mad at the world. That happens. It's not going to go away. But we maybe can make it a little bit better. All right. So here we go. Here's our backside. And we've got excruciating energy exhaustion and self esteem. And on our front side, we are going to embrace it. And we're going to embrace all of those feelings, all of that negative stuff, and we're going to make it better. All right. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you don't feel comfortable putting them in the comments, shoot me an email or, um, you know, message me. I'll be glad to talk with you about it. All right. You guys have a great day. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.